historia de contarle mi historia Aquí en mi core, también en mi memoria This is the project. This is it. This is, this is insane. The amount of detail that this piece has. <sighs> Patience is what I need. <laughs> I'm not gonna be recording myself doing the stencil just because I cannot split my attention right now. I gotta be 100% stencil in this. <sighs> this took me forever. <laughs> Oh, but look at that. Simple, just exactly what I need. Man, it's just time consuming. But I'm really happy with this stencil. Got a nice setup going on. All right, ready? have a seat. Ready, ready. Damn, I need some, lo anybody got some lotion? I do. Like oh, the it's not for you, it's for oh, me. Like, well, no, no, it's not for you. <laughs> lotion is for me. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, bro, so you yeah. your knee, bro? <laughs> that was loud as fuck. <laughs> can you stand up? Like, are you quick? Can you still walk? <laughs> Insane, you know it's gonna be. Oh, look at that! Look at the way that just matches the ropes of of uh, the ring. Connects. Huh? It connects. It just. It, this is meant to be together. Like this is meant to be together. This is insane. That's crazy. <laughs> Who's next, bro? I just got Kobe in the bag with somebody. Kobe in the bag. Nah, nah, nah. Because I, I want to get different sports. Mm, that's like, true. You know, that's true. Boxing, or basketball. What should we get? Soccer? That's true. You can get soccer. But I like Ronaldo. You got CR7. Ronaldo. What, I don't like cuál? Messi. Cristiano no, no, Ronaldo Cristiano or Ronaldo? Ronaldo? No, 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 Cristiano Ronaldo. No. Yeah, CR7, bro? Yeah, bro. I would love to do that. <laughs> yeah, right oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, you, huh? That looks insane. Look, like, Neta que... Pop, yeah. To execute this project, I started from the bottom with a 9 curve Mac running my machine at a 5.0 voltage. I'm using world famous red, burgundy, and brown to mix them together and get that uniform done. I had to be really careful with not making the uniform look flat, so I had to navigate and mix my tones really good to be able to separate the folds and have my contrast and highlights on the right spots. I had to switch to my three round liner to be able to do the letters and the numbers of the jersey. To be able to do the background, I had to mix back and forth between my grays, blacks, and blues. The brand that I'm using for my blue is world famous as well. Day one, what, look at that sunset though. Where's it? Oh, I'm a little late. <laughs> it looks nice though. Day one was a success. I found my rhythm. I was able to finish what I wanted to finish just so I can focus tomorrow on the face and the rim. Because the rim, oh, oh, I know it's going to mentally, like, fuck with me. That's why I split it in two days. Because tomorrow I'm coming in with a fresh mind, relaxed, I'm rested, so I can have the mentality to take my time and be patient on that rim. Because that rim is going to test the fuck out of me. So, <clears throat> Today is the day that I finished uh, the Michael Jordan tattoo. 
I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this video just because I gotta ask my client for permission first. Um, when my client left uh, his appointment, he got arrested <laughs> and um, I didn't hear back in the morning. Like I, I was texting him, I was calling him. I was kind of getting a little concerned because I started thinking, what if he got in a car accident on our way home? What if, uh, you know, something happened to him? I was I was really worried and I, I just kept texting him, are you okay? And uh, finally, uh, on, on a Sunday, uh, he finally reaches back out. He's like, hey, I just got released from jail. I thought, <laughs> the fact that he messaged me right after he got released i was like oh my god i wouldn't expect that it's probably been over maybe close to two months now and i'm just i've been waiting to finish this tattoo and i couldn't get him in our schedules were not matching up but today is the day and <laughs> i'm excited i don't know why he got arrested i didn't really ask i'm gonna ask him today see if he wants to tell us if he doesn't want to tell us that's okay i just want to finish this tattoo <laughs> How did it feel being there with the first tattoo? I hate it, bro. See, but I was telling him, like, hey, I just got a tattoo. I need to get it done. Like, I need to, I need to wrap it up. I need yeah. to get some, some stuff on it. Uh -huh. You know, no matter what. Yeah, like, fuck that. Dude, I was, bro, I was so worried. You have no idea. I, I, I mean, you saw I, my I messages. Yeah, I thought, Dude. I thought I was in there, like, my man. Like, bro, I was so I worried. I my girl. I was like, I should have told her, like, hey, but my girl doesn't have Instagram. I've never had it happen, so I didn't know how to react. I was like, oh, man. Like, no, Damn, it's crazy how you didn't know you had a warrant. Oh, yeah. Suspended license? Oh, okay. But we're, you're here now, so yeah, yeah, we're going to finish it yeah. and make it better. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I can't be walking around with a <laughs> <laughs> This seems like a good size. Yeah, look at it. So what I'm doing here is pretty much just cutting around the frame. Or not the frame, but the, out, the inside of the shirt so it can give me more control over where I'm gonna place the stencil because this is gonna get complicated uh, just re-stenciling this is I, I know there's a lot of videos out there that teach you how to do it and out of all the videos that I watch on how to re-stencil throughout the years I think this is the method that best works for me so what I'm gonna do is pretty much just uh, focus on matching it up on this area and you can already see that it's it's a nice fit. So all I gotta do, I'm probably gonna tape it for sure. <clears throat> Damn, throw up feeling a little dry here. <clears throat> God damn. All in that mic. So what we got here is um, I'm gonna go in depth on how I'm gonna do this face. First thing is I'm using my seven round liner to do the little details. Um, and I'm not gonna switch needles to do the face just because I need it to be very uh, precise. And it's such a small face, it's probably half an inch. And um, what I'm gonna do is run it at 5.0 voltage. I run my machine at 5.0 for every single project that I have, no matter the cartridge, no matter the size of the of the cartridge, no matter the piece that I'm doing, none of that. So first thing is first, um, I'm gonna look at my reference here, and I see that a lot of my tones, they are brown. So I'm using Solid Ink uh, brand here with uh, the color chocolate. So what I'm gonna do here is use my scribble technique to uh, to start doing the, the shading inside of it. And it's very important for me, uh, the way I'm gonna approach it is by using the scribble technique because it's gonna allow me to showcase that there's the pores of the face. 
I don't want to go too aggressive on it. I'm mapping it out, making sure that I like the shape of where the shading is gonna go. So I'm not, I'm not pushing in ink aggressive. All I'm doing is mapping it up. Once I like what I see, then I'm gonna commit and do the heavy shading in it. Don't rush it, just take your time. Once I like where everything is, I'm also gonna start mixing my brown and my black together to give me a darker shade. Okay, I really like where how that looks, so now I'm gonna commit and I'm gonna mix my brown, so I'm gonna go into my brown one time on my black, because the black is very powerful, so it's gonna take over, it's gonna overpower my brown. So I went here one time in my black and I'm gonna dip it twice on my brown and I wanna see what that gives me. Still a little dark, so I'm gonna go back to my brown twice. Perfect. And that is perfect right there. So now I'm gonna commit. And I'm doing the scribble technique. It causes less trauma to the skin in, in my opinion. And this is a little bit harsh here on this corner, so I wanna smoothly blend it out with the same tone. Just enough so it won't finish too harsh. I want it to have a smooth blend out. This is where you start mixing back and forth. I'ma go to my black first, then hit my, my white. I first gotta get my, my gray tone first, dipping it in my brown and going back to my white because I don't want it to be too dark either. So I'm just gonna, right in the corner here, I'm just gonna see what it looks like. And it looks a little gray for me. So I'm gonna go back to my white. One, two, three. Maybe one time on my, on my brown and going back to my white. Once you start mixing, you start realizing that some tones are, are, are really good to use on different areas of the face, like on this area here too. Okay, now that I have that, I definitely want to go back on this corner here on the cheekbone, make it just a little bit darker, just so, just so it can stand out a little bit more because the features did, are a little bit too flat for me. So going back here, being very gentle with it because it's going to overpower super quick. I'm going to come back later and I'm going to add my white highlights with Probably mix it with a little bit of brown, but I'm gonna do that at the end. I wanna make sure that this eye stands out a little bit more than what it looks like right now. There you go, that's exactly what it needed. There it is. I continued to do the same sequence that I did on the face because it was giving me great results. So I had to stick with this system so I can be able to match everything else. To do the net of the ring was definitely time consuming and it required a whole bunch of patience. There is so much going on that it's really easy to get frustrated but it's really good to take breaks and stay in focus. Woo! 
it was such a dope project to do. I mean, it was, it, it really tested me because I had to be patient, I had to be relaxed, and I had to stay focused. There's a whole bunch of details and a lot going on in this tattoo that it's really easy to get overwhelmed. But the best thing I did throughout the whole piece is as soon as I started feeling a little bit frustrated, I would get up, take a quick break, get a drink of water, talk to my client, relax, and go back in with a fresh mind. But I'm really happy and I'm excited to show you guys the way it turned out. So here's my latest project, Michael Jordan.